So it's 5.34 a.m. on Monday, October 5th, 2020. And I wanted to make this uh, recording because I just watched a movie called Welcome to Sudden Death with actor and martial artist Michael Jai White. Uh, It is a remake of the movie Sudden Death with Jean-Claude Van Damme back in the 1990s. <clears throat> this one was made uh, in, uh, around 2000, the newer one. Um, if you look at the photograph at the top of the page, you got John claude Van Damme on the left and Michael Jai White on the right. Um, first of all, this uh, this recording um, is to, it's not to be disrespectful in any way, any way or form or anything like that. Um, both actors are really good actors. Both actors are really good martial artists in their personal lives, as well as, uh, on television. Um, as most of you know, I am not a fan of remakes. I think most remakes suck because they just don't live up to the originals. And for the most part, you have to ask yourself, why is it that they're always remaking good movies? You know, how about remaking some of the bad movies that were shit to begin with? Um, first of all, I like the original Sudden Death movie with Jean-Claude Van Damme. <clears throat> I thought it was really good. Especially given the fact it takes place at a hockey arena. And since I am a hockey fan, um, I really liked it. Uh, uh, I actually happen to be a uh, Milwaukee Admirals hockey fan. And uh, which is amateur hockey, um, professional hockey. I actually do, really do like the uh, Pittsburgh Penguins, which is featured in the movie with some of the real life players. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, there's very few remakes that I saw out there that are actually good or better than the original. Um, for the most part, remakes suck. Um, like I said, you know, I'm not trying to be disrespectful or be a an ass or anything. Um, I watched the, like I said, it's, it's a remake of Sudden Death. It's actually called Welcome to Sudden Death, where the original is just called Sudden Death. And uh, like I said, Michael Jai White is a very good uh, actor and martial artist. Um, his acting in the movie was really good. His... Uh, Martial arts in the movie was good. The you know the little bits of action scenes with with him were good. Oh, excuse me for a moment. <sighs> um, I didn't care for the story though. Um, and I'm not trying to sound racist or anything, but basically this remake is the black version of Sudden Death. Um, there was some kind of shitty music in there which I didn't care for Uh, the kids the the children the way they were written in there they were very ignorant and rude and smart ass attitude Um, didn't care for that used a lot of slang in there didn't care for that Uh, I mean doesn't anybody use proper English and grammar anymore I guess basically you could compare these two movies, uh, the original and the remake, to the movies The Wizard of Oz and The Wiz, which is uh, the black version of The Wizard of Oz. Um, You could kind of compare it like that, I guess. Um, Like I said, Michael Jai White did a really good uh, job with uh, his acting and that. Um, I just thought the story of the movie, uh, of the remake, kind of really sucked. <sighs> Pardon me. And there was a, a writer, a news writer, who actually wrote an article about this, something about, uh, something along the lines of, uh, John claude Van Damme's failed movie or something like that. Well, first of all, I think this writer can take his attitude and he can go stick it where the sun don't shine. Um, 
not trying to be rude, but uh, first of all, Jean-Claude Van Damme's version of this movie was actually really good. It was really, really good. Uh, I'm sorry to say it, but I like Jean-Claude Van Damme's version of Sudden Death way better than uh, the remake of Welcome to Sudden Death. Uh, basically, and I'm sorry to say it like this, but basically the remake Welcome to Sudden Death sucked, in my opinion. Um, like I said, it wasn't, wasn't, uh, Michael Jai White's acting, um, wasn't the lack of action on his part, it was the story just sucked. I mean, if I felt that, uh, it was just thrown together and it very just rapidly moved through, through it, um, yeah, I just, I, uh, I like the original better, um. <clears throat> if you look at my post, you'll see there's some notable actors in there in the original. Because you got John claude Van Damme. Um, you got Raymond J. Barry. You got Powers Booth. Um, who both Powers Booth and Raymond J. Barry... <sighs> pardon me. <sighs> they both played with Brandon Lee in the movie Rapid Fire back in the 1990s. Which is also a very, very good movie. Very good movie. And uh, the funny thing about it is in the movie Rapid Fire, Raymond J. Barry plays a corrupt and dirty FBI agent where Powers Booth plays a Chicago police officer um, who's honest. And in this movie, Sudden Death, the original... The roles are reversed, where Powers Booth plays a crooked Secret Service agent who kidnaps the Vice President, and Raymond J. Barry plays the Vice President, who's actually a good guy. And then you had John claude Van Damme, who is a former firefighter in the movie, who's now basically, he's, how would you say, like, uh, I don't want to exactly say, like, security because from my impression of it he wasn't security he was more like uh, a fire marshal or fire safety officer for the arena as opposed to the remake where Michael Jai White's character was not a firefighter at all he was a combat soldier in a war and later he became excuse me sorry I get yawning when I talk uh, later on, he became a security officer for the arena that he worked in. Um, and that's the term I use, security officer. I do not like the term security guard because it is, to me, it's kind of derogatory. Um, some states, you know, like when you watch the news, they'll, they'll still say, oh, the security guard, the security guard. First of all, they're not called security guards anymore um, for the most part. Uh, a security guard you know, used to define a person who would sit at a desk and ask people to sign in. The security officer is has a little bit more advanced training. They're the people who are more trained in defense and arrest tactics and carry handcuffs. Uh, that's the difference between an officer and a guard. A guard is you're guarding something. An officer is you're proactive and you're out there patrolling, you're walking your beat, you know, things like that. <clears throat> and a lot of times the news media... Sadly, the news media doesn't know the difference between a security officer and a security guard. Um, essentially, they're under the same license, but like I said, the difference is proactive and reactive. You know, things like that. Um, and like I said too, with, with the with the remake of this movie, the the kids in there, the the way they were written, just a bunch of punk ass attitudes. That's what it was. A lot of swearing, a lot of my dad's going to kick your ass type stuff. Uh, where the original, the kids did not have any kind of foul mouths like that. Like I said, you know, not to, not to sound racist or nothing, because I'm not intending it to be like that, but basically this remake was the black version of John claude Van Damme's version. Um, you know, like I said, another thing too is, <laughs> in the original, in the original, they were at a hockey arena. In the remake, they are at 
a basketball arena. Um, one, for the most part, for one, I'm not a basketball fan in the first place. Uh, I don't care for basketball, just like I don't really care for football anymore, and I'm really kind of getting out of baseball. But uh, hockey is a sport I really like. That and NASCAR, but I take hockey over NASCAR any day. Um, as far as the movie, too, there's some similarities in there. There's some different things. But for the most part, <sighs> excuse me, like I said, uh, Van Damme's version to me was a little bit more action packed and it was creative and clever too. And they tried to steal some of that creativeness and cleverness, like such as in the original, Van Damme makes a kind of like a blowgun type thing out of a fire extinguisher, a nail sticking through a, a wire cap, and a long piece of uh, flexible hose tubing. Where in the remake, Michael Jai White's character uses a t-shirt gun that launches t-shirts and he starts launching other stuff at people. Um, now the funny thing about this is Jean-Claude Van Damme actually played with Michael Jai White in uh, Universal Soldier Part 2, The Return, which was a good movie. <sighs> Excuse me. That was a very good movie, you know. Two great martial artists and actors that uh, got to show off their, their skills. Um, but the, the point of remakes, too, is I don't like remakes. This is basically the best that Hollywood can do, is they make shit nowadays. You know, everything's got to be a remake. Everything always has to be a remake. And that's because they're out of ideas. Um, now, here's the thing. If you're going to remake a movie... Why don't you remake something that was shitty to begin with? Uh, for example, okay, like I said, Sudden Death was a great movie. I liked it. The John claude Van Damme version. Really liked it. Uh, you, he had another good movie called Time Cop. You know, a lot of people talk shit about that. I like Time Cop. I thought Time Cop was a great movie. However, when they made Time Cop Part 2, The Berlin Decision... Uh, John claude Van Damme wasn't in that one. Um, and I did not like that movie at all. I thought the second one completely sucked. I thought it was just basically thrown together, and that was that. You know, I thought it sucked. So if you're going to make a remake a movie, <sighs> excuse me, why don't you remake something like Time Cop Part 2? You know, because that movie sucked to begin with. Or, let's look at another movie, Hard Target, with Jean-Claude Van Damme. Now, that was a really good movie. I really liked it. I love the mullet that he was wearing in there. I love the scene where he's on the, the motorcycle, you know. I thought that was really cool. But then later on, you had, many years after, you had Hard Target Part 2. And, once again, Jean-Claude Van Damme was not in the second one. He wasn't. In Hard Target Part 2. Um, and basically that one was set in the jungle. And you know things like that. And uh, basically in my opinion. Hard Target Part 2 actually sucks. You know. If you're going to remake a movie. Remake a movie that sucked to begin with. So they could have remade that movie. There's an option. Um. And like I said, you know, ultimately, a lot of times, it's not the acting or the action, it's a bad story. Or you might have a good story, and you might have a bad acting problem, something like that. <sighs> Excuse me. But, like I said, for the most part, um, I can say that I've seen both movies, and I like the one with John claude Van Damme better. Uh, there's just something about it. You know, it's a great movie. I have it on DVD along with Hard Target um, and Time Cop. But, yeah, it's. I'm, I'm sorry I did not like the remake. I didn't like the remake at all. I thought it sucked. Um, and like I said, it's, it's you know, no, no offense to Michael Jai White because it's not him. Michael Jai White, you know, he did 
you know, great stuff with the movie, a lot of, a lot of action on his part, um, the martial arts were great, the acting was great, but uh, I didn't really care for the story. So that's basically my review of this movie and the remake. So, and like I said, I actually like the original too because uh, it's not just that the story was better and the action was better, but also that um, it had that mystique to it, you know. It was just a very good movie. So, I'm trying to think of what other movies that kind of sucked that <sighs> you could make a remake out of. Um, I don't know, like I so said, there's just, there's lots of them, you know. But here's the thing. My message to Hollywood and to all the actors out there. Stop remaking stuff that was good to begin with. If you're going to remake something, um, remake these crappy movies that suck to begin with, you know, simple as that. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say. And for all of those out there who are listening to me, like I said, I don't mean it in a bad way to anybody, but, uh, um, kind of lost my train of thought where I was going with this uh you know if, if you're gonna do a remake remake a bad movie that was that sucked to begin with don't remake a good movie because you're just gonna ruin it you know just like they did with Dirty Dancing or what they did with Point Break you know basically um stop remaking the good movies remake the bad movies make those better but uh, that's my opinion of this movie, and that's what it is, just, just my opinion. So uh, that's pretty much all I have to say.